Jonathan, very warm welcome at Digitizer. Um, so you've been nominating, nominated a lot this year, uh, but here you are nominated for the AI Awards, and twice. Once with your company, RoboVision, and the second time as a personality. Apparently, it was not the first time, as you have also been nominated as Engineer of the Year uh, in, in Ghent. How do you get all these nominations? Uh, it was an award, uh, actually, yeah. technically, so I won it. Um, I think uh, we are pioneering in uh, bringing AI really uh, to the balance sheet in the sense that it also makes money year after year. Um, many of our peers and competitors are in the POC field still, uh, proof of concept. And um, we have a worldwide network of uh, end customers happy to work with our platform and AI platform and happy to train new models, happy to work on real machines. Uh, earning real money. And that's something very important in this wave because it's a hype yeah. and in a hype it's important that you show that you can bring money to the balance sheet. Yeah, of course. Who are your customers? Uh, small and big companies. Um, we have companies as big as uh, Nestle or Johnson & Johnson, but uh, also small uh, agricultural companies in Canada, in Brazil, um, even Australia, Japan, uh, yeah. small farmers. So we cover a wide spectrum. But we do that with a network of integrators and um, companies that integrate our technology, our platform and get an added value on their solid existing technology. Yeah. Is that your unique offering or can you? Yeah. I mean, we are really boots on the ground. So uh, the, the key fact that we bring to our customers is a very short time to market and a no nonsense knowledge of the whole pipeline of AI. And we have created this beautiful platform that goes from A to Z in all things machine learning and deep learning, meaning data annotation, data labeling at scale. So we have access to um, thousands and thousands of labelers worldwide that are integrating with our platform. And we use this force to bring these deep learning models within a, within a matter of days instead of months to our end customers. So you are very product driven. Yes, yes, yes. And your product is built on, on what technology stack? It's uh, built on open source technology stack. So uh, TensorFlow, the typical, um, yeah, all, all the good practice components that you uh, right now use in, in, in this landscape, uh, Docker, Kubernetes. Uh, so it's, but it's an industrialized version of it. Um, it's very important to note that the industry um, needs like five to 10 years guarantee that, that it will keep on working if you, even if you just replace stuff here and there. Uh, and that's uh, an important thing. And due to our history, because we've been a consultant, a machine vision consultant, uh, me, myself, and the early stages of the company, uh, it's important to note that there are many booby traps in the field. There are many booby traps if you bring this AI value to your customers. You can make a lot of mistakes, obviously. Illumination, yeah. optics, uh, camera, a lot of these things need to go right and that's what, what really the combination of bare-bone knowledge about all things um, to capture the image in combination with an AI platform of the future that can enable deep learning models based on this data captured by these cameras. Yeah, I hear you are very engineer. So what's your role within the company today? Um, it's more or less uh, steering the company in the right direction. Um, choosing that right value proposition which is the same time unique and very powerful because it's a it's a field that it's rapidly becoming red ocean and we want to keep it blue ocean our product and our platform so it's it's giving talks having access to the market knowing what customers really want um, knowing where we want to be in three years that's my role in the company yeah your company has been very active over the past five years let's say yeah um, I, you must have worked like a madman. Why do you do it? Why, you know, what drives you to doing such That's a... That's a very good question yeah. because I, I tend to ask the same questions to uh, yeah. other people I, I have conversations with. My key driver is to be a game changer uh, on societal plane. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I see myself as an impact-driven uh, entrepreneur. Uh, I, I'm frustrated just as you are about the Belgian railway system. I'm frustrated just as you are about many aspects of Belgian politics and I want to enable this uh, society 2.0. Um, technology is a key game changer to build a better world 
And together with some other peers, like Peter Hinson, like Nicolas de Ruyter of ML6, we really discussed this and we, we want to democratize AI. That's, the, I mean, that's very noble of you. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, in, in seeing the, the number of effort you are putting into this, how do you keep your work-life balance in, in, in well, um, not. Uh, at, the, at this moment, it's, it's difficult. Uh, yeah. My wife is at home with three kids and uh, it's a hard time. Um, I'm leaving for Malta within a couple of hours and I'm coming back from London uh, yesterday evening. So it's really a roller coaster, I must uh, say honestly. And to keep in balance, um, I chose sport. So uh, sport is, is really something what, uh, what makes me thrive, what keeps me stress-wise in balance. And yeah, that available time to be with my wife and kids is, is really very valuable. So I try to keep the weekends uh, for them. Yeah. And managing those stress levels, you know, is, is your wife giving you more stress or is your business giving you more stress? How do you manage those stress levels? Um, well, it's at this moment, it's, it's the business, uh, but not that I'm, um, I'm, I'm not really, uh, I'm able to s uh, sleep very smoothly and everything. So stress is relative, of course. Mm -hmm. I've had other periods in my life with more stress. Um, but I must say that because things keep on changing uh, very rapidly, we've doubled our workforce from 22 to 44 in 12 months. And this comes, of course, with a lot of management challenges. And, and this yeah. is something where you have to constantly question yourself. You mm -hmm. constantly have to be aware that you are probably the bottleneck of your own company. So uh, that, that's a that's key insight. Yeah. Uh, that you must have the key insight to make a step aside if needed to let your company thrive and your project thrive. Yeah. When you look at it today, what is your biggest challenge? The biggest challenge is uh, the typical challenge of a scale-up. It's like uh, many smart people bring them together uh, is, a, is a management uh, uh, challenge in a sense that smart people all have very outspoken opinions and they tend to disagree. So you need to have a very uh, good cocktail of um, decision, uh, taking the decision and leaving everyone involved in the decision taking process. So that's yeah. the biggest challenge. Yeah. Concerning the, um, the, the, the future of your company, where do you see your company in a few years time? Uh, I see us as a platform of reference for uh, in the field of democratization of AI. So bring this deep learning and AI really to the end user cases deep down in Canada, in Japan, in Australia, and let everybody thrive with AI, uh, make a, a, a better world with this technology. And that's where I see my company as, as, as extremely essential in that. So we, we try to be number one in our specific niche, and we are already number one, for instance, in the, in the field of uh, putting stems in the, in the ground in agriculture. But it's, of course, a relative uh, yeah. victory. It's, it's a small field. Uh, but we want to enlarge it and, uh, and we want to yeah, further grow. So, Jonathan, you, you ha you're 40, you have three kids, you have a successful company. Are you happy? <laughs> I am, I am. I, I, I'm shaking in my car alone, listening to music and, and really very um, energized by all these changes in my life. Uh, I've had different periods uh, about 10 years ago. So uh, I'm, I'm very happy, but it's a challenge. And I'm so happy to be surrounded by the right people, to be a magnet for talent and success uh, in RoboVision. For that reason, we're really on university grounds and we're also giving guest lectures and uh, exercises at the University of Ghent. So we have a wonderful access to talent uh, and, and a wonderful access to customers via our big tech channels, uh, NVIDIA, Google, Microsoft, and the big storage providers. So it feels a bit like we just need to do our homework and success will be there. Uh, that's, that's the feeling we have. Yeah. You're, you know, you're an older brother for, for many startups that will be watching this video. You know, we've interviewed a few startups that have been in business for less than a year now. Yeah. What advice would you, what single advice would you give those guys? Choose your battles right. Um, choose your niche. Uh, don't think uh, mainstream. It's a field similar to the field of web uh, and web tech in the beginning of 2000 and so on. So uh, the red ocean is there. It's, it's coming also for you. 
and you need to be special. Choose your niche, get your value proposition right within that niche, talk a lot with customers. Don't over exaggerate the, um, the financing stuff because I see a lot of people uh, making PowerPoints for investors and everything. Uh, the biggest investor, the, the most valuable investors are paying customers and uh, try to push them into a license-based system uh, on a year. So because the investors in a later stage will query you about uh, annual recurring revenue and so on. So um, don't follow the mainstream. I mean, the mainstream is, is to have the nice business plan and to be there at the pitch deck of investors. Um, I mean, it's a little bit like management manager of the year. I mean, the one that seek the limelight are very often the one that have some trouble the years after. Jonathan, congratulations with all these nominations. Thank you for all these valuable insights you are giving for the, 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 the startups. And I hope to see you very soon at the DX Summit. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you.